what are golden shadows? Well, in golden shadows we have the gold and the shadow. What is the gold? The gold is a quality, a self-power, a characteristic or an ability which we appreciate. We actually really appreciate. When we see people who have it in them, we are in awe. We, we feel like there is something or someone to admire here. We want to be like them or feeling envy and jealousy that we cannot be like them or frustration. We fantasize about being with that quality or ability. It feels like our life will be much better, maybe complete. We will feel whole and complete if we'll have it. We are attracted to people who have it also sexually and romantically. It's actually, this gold is what lies in the basis of many falling in love and, and romantic and sexual attraction. Because if I take away something which is a part of me and I push it down, below, behind, somewhere it can be seen or heard, put it in, in some sort of internal jail, it leaves a, a hole inside of me, a vacuum, and this hole, this vacuum wants to be filled. And it, it's okay for it to be filled with food and sex and, and alcohol and drugs and sports and work and relationships or any other addiction. But what really would make it feel good is getting back in touch with what was there in the first place. And because it's in the shadow, we believe it's not a part of us anymore. It's something that other people have, but we don't. So we try to get close by getting in touch with those people, being their friends, being their partners, wanting to have sex with them, or, or just some physical form of touch so that we can again be whole. Why do we take good things and push them into the shadow, okay? Well, it's actually pretty simple. When we were so small that we just were trying to understand how this world works and we started to send bad parts into the shadow, sometimes something we considered good got connected with something that we consider not good got so attached that we couldn't differentiate and we send it all together into the shadow. For example, if people are too creative, we tend to think that they are unstable or maybe even mentally ill. We don't want that, so we send creativity to the shadow. Many people want to have lots of money, want to be rich. But when we think about really rich people, we talk about filthy rich and thieves and people who use people and, no, and have no friends and can't trust anyone. So who wants to be rich, right? If that's a price. This is the basic mechanism of the golden shadow. And the ways to work with it, to retrieve those self parts and to be able to fulfill more of what we would like to realize in our life, what, what we came here for, 